Hey, Stereo Asmuth here, and I want to talk about a, a product, an audio product that you may need, especially those of you with uh, tube amps. Um, and this could be any type of tube amp guitar, tube amp audio, tube amp headphone, tube amp, or any sort of amplifier where you have a ground loop problem. Now, before I get into what this product is, I just want to preface this with I bought this out of my own money. This is not an, a paid endorsement. I received nothing free from this. And this is just my own use of my own, um, uh, my, not, I don't want to say my product, but basically it is the experience that I've had with uh, said product. And this is not, like I said, a paid endorsement of any kind. So I have a, what happened is I have this Quicksilver tube amplifier and it has a ground loop problem. The ground, the actual um, chassis ground is also the same as the uh, ground on the, um, on the input. So that is the same ground. And I'm like, I, I can't have that. When I plug into my devices, I can hear a hum. And the way that you can tell that you have a ground loop problem is that when you plug it in, you hear hum, and then it will follow like the volume control. Like you like don't have anything playing, and then if you turn the volume up, you will hear more and more and more and more and more hum. That's how you know you have a ground loop problem. If you have a problem where you have a faint hum in the background and it does not follow the volume control, there is something else going on and there's some internal like like hum issues that you have that could be coming from external devices. You can also check this by unplugging the input. So um, like don't have anything plugged into it whatsoever, like no input. And if you still hear a faint hum uh, and then you have the volume control, um, you know, where it doesn't follow the volume control, then you know that it is something like internal um, could be a capacitor, could be like something else. I also have that kind of going on with the, uh, with the Quicksilver. Some hum is more than others. Um, and that sort of hum is actually the worst kind to get rid of because that usually requires some sort of internal shielding of some kind, which is what I'm looking at doing. But I still had a ground loop hum. The other way that you can do this and that you can check this, and, and this is only a way to check and not, this is um, only to check, okay, is that, where's my device? I have it over here somewhere, hold on. Um, you can use one of these, okay? And what this is, and I'm, this is not the product that I'm endorsing whatsoever, but this is just a way, once again, to check whether you have a ground loop problem, and this is not a permanent solution, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if you look at this, this is a ground loop, this is a ground lifter. Uh, you have three sides where you have your hot, your neutral, and your ground, and on the other side, you have just the, the two plugs, and this is tied to the um to the ground here this ground plug so if you want to ground it uh to somewhere else or like to the plug but this was basically designed for homes that you know were not updated with a ground plug and they had devices that had a ground plug and they had no way to plug it in because their homes weren't updated yet so you can use this on a tube amp, which is what I did, is I basically it took the chassis ground and lifted it from the earth ground, and then it got rid of my ground hum. However, why you don't want to do this and why this is not a permanent solution is because now your chassis is not tied to ground. There is hundreds of, of volts going through tube amps, and you need that grounded okay it's got a it you should have it grounded you shouldn't have it lifted um off of the earth ground so but you can use these to 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 check like i said and this is verified that i had a ground loop problem so what you do when you have a ground loop problem and that's why the permanent solution is this 
So this is a iFi. Okay, it's made by. Uh, you can't see the, the. There it is. The logo, the nice iFi logo, the Ground Defender. Okay, and what this is is there's a IEC, like uh, kind of female on one side, which you plug into your device, and then you have the output, which is where you plug in your cable, um, to go to your you know, to, to plug into the wall. Now this one works between 90 volts and 250 volts. So for you people that are in, uh, other voltages besides the United States, um, besides, um, you know, the U S where we have uh, 120 volts or even Japan where you have a hundred volts or even in, you know, like Europe where you have like, uh, or England where you have like 220. Um, so yeah, it'll work up to 250 volts. It will only work up to one amp, or uh, excuse me, 10 amps. So and that's that's pretty good. I mean, most most plugs in your house, like your actual outlet, the the full outlet, is you know most of the time only 15 amps. Sometimes it could be 20, um, but other times like it's going to be 15. But say even if it's a full 20, I mean that's that's like half of the whole power and usually an amplifier uh should only need i mean at maximum even if you're talking about a speaker amplifier maybe only takes about um maybe three amps maybe four amps maybe five amps for a speaker amp i mean my amp is only running my headphone amp is only running at one amp i mean that's that that's the i know that's the max because that's what the fuse is it probably runs less than one amp um, but that's what the fuse rating is. So, I mean, 10 amps is going to give you plenty of, um, protection. And basically when I hook this up to the device, to my, um, ground loop defender, and there's a little QR code for those of you who want to, uh, scan it. I think that's just the, uh, my particular one to know that it is, um, authentic, but basically it got rid of the hum as good as this as good as lifting the ground but it's still safe the chassis ground is still connected to full ground and it's awesome um i'm going to put a link in the description to one where you can get one through uh amazon and if you if you buy it that'll help support the channel um and they actually make two devices i'll put both of them in there they also put one uh that looks just like this that's called a dc blocker not everybody has problems with DC coming in on their AC line. How you can tell you have problems with DC coming in on your AC line is if your transform, if you plug in like your tube amp uh, with nothing plugged into it and your speakers are like are not even connected, nothing's connected, and you hear your transformer like humming by itself like the transformer is emitting noise okay and or or vibrating and that is usually an indication that you have like a dc sort of offset coming in on your ac line i had a dc uh blocker here i actually uh, sold it to a friend because i used it and I, I didn't have any problems with it. Like my, my transformer wasn't really humming, but I bought it just in case to try to see if, if plugging one up would work. And you can always plug it up to see if it works on your system. And if not, like, you know, uh, return it. Like they sell them through um, Amazon, but you know, like if you have one, then you can, um, then you can use it. And yes, you can plug, you know, a DC blocker up with this. And I suggest using uh, the, the, um, I don't know what order to put them in, whether you put the DC blocker before the ground defender or put the, you know, DC blocker. I don't, I don't know if it really even matters. Um, and I fi might tell you something I would follow whatever the I fi you know, says, but both the devices work really well. And anybody that has a ground loop problem, get the ground defender it will eliminate that ground loop problem. This works really well. Like I said, guitar amps, you know, um, speaker amps, headphone amps. If you've got an IEC plug that's got a ground loop problem, this will help. This will eliminate it. Um, so 
hopefully that will help some people. Um, and I know there's many uh, of these on the market. They're probably doing the same thing or a similar thing of what they're doing. Um, so I know there's like the X hum and stuff like that. So, but I know, you know, and, and they're probably all doing a very similar thing of what this is doing. I just know that this one was the one that really worked for me and it probably hopefully will work for you. So thanks a lot, guys. If you have any other suggestions or have any other uh, ideas for videos or what you would like to see, please hit me up, like, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys later.